Hi guys, so today I'm here with a what's in my travel bag video. I recently got back from Key West and I figured before I finish unpacking, I would show you guys all the makeup and beauty essentials that I brought with me. So let's jump right into it. First is my beauty essentials case. This is by Trina Turk and I got this as a Christmas present. I love it, it's leopard, it's fuzzy, and it's all things girly. Um, and inside I have a ton of stuff, so let me show you what I have in here. First up is my mini Tanda Zap. Um, if I do break out on vacation, I like to have this just in case to kind of get rid of any pimples or blemishes that may appear. Just way I don't have to keep caking on my makeup while I'm on vacation. Next up, I have a little mini secret deodorant. This was a dollar from Target. I like to travel with minis just instead of full sizes just because it does take up less space in my carry-ons. I have my little essential pack of Q-tips, of course. And then I also brought um, this little mini sample of a Glam Glow face mask. There are some nights where my skin is just taking a beating from all the traveling and all the makeup that I put on it. So this is kind of just a nice little treat to have while I'm on vacation. And then after that, I have my Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Cream. I have absolutely fallen in love with this product. It has made such a huge difference in the dark circles around my eyes. I feel like they look so much brighter. I put way less makeup on them now. And it's just such a great product. I highly recommend it. I actually just purchased the second one because I'm going through this one so quickly. I love it so much. And then I have my Josie Marin Light Argon Oil. This is a great moisturizer. I actually use just a dab of this and rub it all over my face and it does wonders for my skin, especially in the dry weather um, and especially in the humid weather of Miami as well. It was really great, super light and not too heavy at all. And then I also brought my Latisse. I've only been using this for a few weeks um, and then these are the little brush applicators. Um, I bring this because you're supposed to use it every night and not miss a night, so I wanted to make sure I kind of followed the instructions. I've seen a huge improvement in the, the size and the thickness and the length of my eyelashes, so I'm definitely going to keep using this. If you guys would like to see a review on this, please leave a comment down below. And then on the other side, I have my Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner by Herbal Essences. I got these at Target right before I left. I don't like to use shampoo and conditioners from hotels just because I'm never sure how my hair is gonna react to them and when you're on vacation, you don't wanna be stressing about things like your hair. This, I know my hair reacts well to, so I went ahead and brought these for only a dollar each. They were super affordable, they're easy to pack and they're disposable. Once I'm done, I just go ahead and toss them. And then after that, another hair product would be the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Keratin Treatment. This is great, especially um, when I travel, my hair just kind of feels like it takes a beating. This really helps to restore some of the hydration and really make it smooth and shiny and much easier to deal with. So love that. And then next is my Urban Decay B6 spray. This is just kind of like a vitamin infused spray for your face. Again, when I'm traveling, it really just helps kind of refresh me and keep my skin looking great. And then last skin item is my Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer Night, um, night version, I guess. <laughs> it has a little bit of retinol in it, which really helps to clear my skin. You've heard me talk about this if you've watched some of my other videos. This is a great product, so I always bring this with me everywhere I go. And then I have my contact solution, of course, my cleaning, uh, clean care <laughs> contact solution. This is a great product, like I said, talked about this in other videos. And then last but not least, I have my little Venus Gillette razor. This is like one of those five blade ones. It is, it is a disposal razor. Um, this is just a new one I grabbed to show you guys because I did toss the other one. These are great. They give you such a close shave. They're actually really affordable. And uh, the, the way it makes my skin feel, like I literally can not shave not for like a week after I use this. It's amazing. So definitely pick these up if you go to the store. You can get these at any Target or any drugstore too, I believe. So that is everything that's in my beauty and kind of hair care essentials bag. After that, this is my makeup bag. It's matching. It is also by Trina Turk and of course Leopard. This again was a Christmas gift. Um, and inside, I kind of packed a lot of stuff. I packed makeup for day and then makeup for night as well because during the day I wanted something light and easy. And at night I want a little bit more full coverage when we're going out to clubs or nice dinners or things like that. So the first thing in here is my Z palette and this has all of my MAC shadows in it. I packed a lot of browns, a lot of neutrals for during the day and then a lot of really fun funky purples for at night because I did do a lot of great purple eye looks while I was there and they came out so beautiful. Um, I actually, I think I posted a picture on my Instagram if you want to take a look at that. But this was great and it actually fits perfectly right inside the top of this little Trina Turk bag, so I love it. So for during the day, I brought my Tarte BB Cream. This is great. It's actually supposed to be a primer. It says it's a 12 hour primer, but I actually use it as a really light foundation because it gives such nice coverage. It's really lightweight. It's not too heavy. It actually has SPF in it as well, which I really love because especially in Florida, it was really hot and I didn't want my son to get any damage to it. So great product. Love that. Use that every single day. And then for nighttime, I actually brought my Beauty Blender and my Revlon Color Stay Whip. This obviously gives more of a full coverage foundation, and I used this on nights when we went out, um, like I said, to dinners or clubs or things like that. And then for blush, I actually brought two different ones. I brought my Milani Limited Edition Rose Brush. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on these. I personally love them, but I know other people haven't loved them as much. 
I think it's so beautiful if you can see that. They come in four different colors. This one is the Lady Rogue. It is such a beautiful color on the skin. And I also brought my Naked Flush Palette just because it has a little bit more of a lighter um, blush in it as well as a bronzer for the days that I did want a little bit of a contour, so that was nice. And then next up is my new like holy grail pot product. And this is my Tarte um, Airbrush Liquid, not liquid powder, Airbrush Powder Foundation. It is so amazing, I'm obsessed with it. I just ordered another one because I'm going through this one. You do not have to wear any type of liquid foundation under this. It has done wonders for my skin. It looks so natural and so pretty. And one of the things I love best about this product is that it does have a little net. So it keeps you from getting too much product on your brush or wasting product and having it fly all over the place. A lot of powder, loose powder foundations, I find that they like release way too much product and then it goes everywhere and you just waste it. Whereas this really helps to kind of put just enough product on your brush and it, it just, it's just gorgeous. I love it. So there's that. And then of course I brought a set of my Velour Lashes for nighttime when I wanted a more dramatic look. These are the Wispy Sweet Nothings and these were gorgeous. They are reusable which is why I still have them. You can wear these up to 25 to 30 times. I did get these from iMats. They were amazing. I love them. Um, and then to go with them, I also got the adhesive dark duo tone eyelash adhesive, which you've also seen if you've watched my eye mask video. And then moving on to eyes, I brought my Milani Brow Fix Kit because again, holy grail product. You've seen it in my other videos and I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk about it. And then I brought three MAC lipsticks. I brought Peach Blossom, Angel, and Hue. Peach Blossom and Angel are much more of a light color. Hue is more of a nude. Angel has a little bit more of a pink tone. and Peach Blossom, obviously, as the title says, a little bit more of a peachy tone. I do like nude lipsticks, um, especially for my natural looks. And even when I do dramatic eyes, I don't want to do a dramatic look with a dramatic eye. And I really want to draw attention to the eyes, which is why doing a more neutral lip is just what I prefer. Um, I did bring two eyeliners. I brought my L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner, and then my L'Oreal, I cannot pronounce this, Silky Simi? Please someone tell me how to pronounce that because I'm sure I just butchered it. And so I brought both of those and then of course my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. This is the regular formula. This I used at night obviously when I wanted to do my more dramatic look. And then during the day since it is hot and humid and then we did go swimming a few times, I brought my waterproof formula as well. And then for my lips, I also packed a nude pink uh, NYX liner and a Peekaboo Neutral. This is kind of like my everyday one that I use all the time. So I packed both of those. And then I packed just an Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion for my eyeshadow. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I think it makes a huge difference in the way my eyeshadow goes on and looks, and I highly recommend it. And then a lip sugar treatment. I've talked about these in other videos. Really great hydration. They're a little pricey, but totally worth the money. And then last but not least is my Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray. Again, talked about this in tons of my other videos. It is a favorite of mine. And I did use it during the day just to kind of keep my face from melting off in the humidity of heat of Key West. Um, and it did an amazing job. I did not have to do any retouching whatsoever. And then last but not least, of course, is my brushes. Um, I have fallen in love, absolutely in love with my Sigma brushes. Um, however, I feel like things really um, can easily get lost or damaged when traveling. So when I do travel, I did bring my Real Techniques brush instead, just because I feel like these would be easier to replace if something did happen to them. And I brought the large powder brush, which looks like this. And then the medium blush brush, which is a pink one, which looks like this. The eyebrow and eyelash brush. I love this brush. It is a holy grail brush for me because I love huge eyelashes. And sometimes when I'm trying to accomplish huge eyelashes, they get clumpy and spidery and gross. And these little metal combs really help to kind of flush them out and make them look perfect. A lot of them um, that you find in the stores have plastic. Um, so the metal really holds up a lot better and really separates them much, much nicer. And then I brought a pink setting brush also from Real Techniques. And then the last one from Real Techniques that I brought was the eyebrow angled brush. Love this, I use this with my Milani Brow Fix Kit all the time. It's kind of like a holy grail brush for my eyebrows. And then I did bring three Sigma brushes just because for my eyeshadow, I'm absolutely obsessed with these and I will not use anything else. This is the E25 blending brush, the E40 tapered blending brush, and the Small Taper Blending E45. I actually use this to kind of pack on the color on my eyelids. Um, and then I use this to kind of get in the crease and give it a little bit more depth. And then I use the really large fluffy blending brush to kind of smooth everything together and blend it all out. So I hope you guys liked seeing what was in my travel makeup bags. Leave a comment down below on if you liked it, what else kind of videos you guys want to see, and I will see you next time. Bye.